So I'm going to talk to you about how to travel and work worldwide. As you can see, I'm at the beach. And I'll tell you how to do it. I have been traveling for, I started 10 years ago and I've been living in Hawaii on three different islands for two years now. And uh, before that, I was in Asia, Central America, went around the world twice solo. I've been uh, working and traveling in 32 countries. And here's how to do it. You, best advice I can give you when you're first starting out is to choose a country that doesn't cost a lot like Thailand or I've just heard Eastern Europe is a good place to go. I haven't investigated personally in Eastern Europe and I know that Thailand, Cambodia, both offer good, pretty good Wi-Fi so you can do your work and low cost accommodation, decent food, um, India, another one. So what you do is establish yourself in a base for three to six months because you want to be in one place long enough to make some contacts, to uh, go out and meet people, make connections. So the important thing to do is choose your country wisely so you're not paying a lot of money. Like I really had to build up to living in Hawaii um, with my services and um, what I do for work. And so when I started, I started in India. And all of a sudden, because I was working, I noticed I did not have to go to the ATM anymore. There were plenty of rupees in my pocket. And I'll tell you how I did it. I started, uh, I was asked to teach yoga very informally on the rooftop of a local guest house in Dharmasala, right down the street from the Dalai Lama, and um, by a student. And you can do the same too. No one asks for accreditation or your Yoga Alliance papers when you're over there, even though I have them. Um, and so you can start small like that. The hotel didn't want any money or a portion of it. They just wanted a, an activity at their guest house that foreigners could go to in the morning. So I would do it every morning at nine o'clock and I think I was charging $2. <laughs> and then, a class, two dollars a class, and everyone else was charging three dollars a class, so I was undercutting. And people really liked it. It was on a rooftop with a beautiful view. And then uh, the next thing I started doing was teaching photography because um, I know how to do that. So, and then that was twenty dollars for a group class, and I was making enough money to pay for my rent and my food and everything. So, certainly you can do something that pays more you can do massage you you just have to go to I don't I'm not certified to do massage and it isn't my thing but wherever you choose to go to you're either going to be working online and you need good connection or you're going to do something locally so now after uh, creating video courses books I wrote I've written four books and three of those I wrote while I was traveling in the past 10 years and sell them on Kindle and I'll give you all the links below so you can check out my products and see what I've done. And I also lead retreats. So the main takeaway here is that you can travel worldwide, pay a lower cost for your basic, for your basic costs, accommodation, food, transportation, and then do your business from where you are. So that's what I have been doing for the past 10 years and right now I am leading, uh, I'm, I created a program for the um, University of Hawaii here on Kauai in photography and that involved going and going to business meetings no matter at the Chamber of Commerce and going out and meeting people. So that's one of the other things. Once you get to a place where you want to settle, you're going to go meet people and you're going to create connections online as well. So we can talk more about that in another video about the nitty gritty wonderful things that occur when you are living somewhere for three to six months, which I have done in Thailand, India. I uh, lived a couple months in Bali, 
Cambodia, Belize, Guatemala. Those are the countries I've spent the extended amount of time. I'd like to spend more time in Europe. So comment below, ask questions. Uh, the two things really that I'm going to leave you with is mindset and taking risk. So see yourself as a business. I don't recommend doing free work to be paid later. It doesn't work. Um, if you want to do free work for humanitarian groups and arrange to have uh, accommodation with them, living with them, and providing your service. That's a great thing to do. I've done that and I've enjoyed it greatly. Um, and the other thing, besides mindset, that you are a business, is to take risks. That's number two. You don't know how to do something? Fine. I have done this repeatedly in the past 35 years of having my own business. I might not have done anything remotely connected to this one thing that someone wants me to do and I'll say yes, I know how to do that. Um, once uh, in Palo Alto I spoke and created a one day workshop at Stanford University. I had never done it before and I arranged that and was paid well for that. So even if you're scared and quaking in your boots and you've never done that, do it anyway and then figure out how to do it. So mindset and taking risks. Yes, you can travel the world. Comment below, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Aloha.